Now let's pause for a moment and think about our favorite web applications. If you're a frequent traveler, maybe it's the United Web app. If you're a workaholic, perhaps Office 365. Or if you're like me and just want to keep your kids entertained so you can take a Saturday night off, it's Disney+. Plus. Now, regardless of the web app that you're picturing, I guarantee that they all have one thing in common, an intuitive, integrated, and flexible user experience. To share with us the new ArcGIS Experience Builder and how it can enhance your web mapping in a similar way, please welcome my colleague, Kenyon Huber Wilker. Thank you, James. Federal organizations like yours are building increasingly complex and interconnected applications to solve spatial problems and accomplish your missions. And most of you are working with some combination of four tools. Web apps like this one that show State Department travel warnings across the entire world. Or dashboards, like the one that Johns Hopkins University built to track the coronavirus outbreak in near real time. Or surveys to easily collect authoritative information like incidents and threats. And story maps, to build beautiful, informative narratives, like this one from the USDA about sustainable agriculture. And each of these applications on their own is effective. But what if we could connect our web apps and dashboards with our surveys with the narrative of a story map? Now we can bring them all together in an easy-to-use, unified location. ArcGIS Experience Builder. Experience Builder is interconnected. It takes information, lets us see it in 2D and 3D, and dynamically integrates with Survey123 and other applications. So let me show you what this looks like. Here's an example of an experience that the State Department might use to help inform and engage US government employees about safety and security while working abroad in France. In this experience, we see the information that overseas staff need to know about safety, including this list on the left of recent security incidents and threats. When I click on this incident between police and protesters, its location pops up in this 3D mesh from Vricon. An experience builder enables us to dynamically swap between the dimensions in the same window. Here's another recent incident outside the US Embassy, and it appears tear gas was used. And so now that we know about these threats, we want to get a better understanding of where our staff are in the area. This integrated application can not only consume information, but also collect it. On the right, notice I haven't filled out my event name field in my survey to register staff attending diplomatic events. To do that, I'll click on the location of the event on the map to send its attributes directly into the survey, add qualifying details, submit, and then see our indicators update in real time. An experience builder enables us to bring together information to answer important spatial questions, like what's the closest hospital to an event? In this case, it's a magerie medical. And because we understand that your experiences aren't constrained to full screen applications, we can scroll down to view supplementary information with related multimedia content. Now let me show you how easy it is to add a new page to our France travel information experience. This way, embassy staff can keep us up to date as they move about Europe. First, we'll go to our ArcGIS organization and launch Experience Builder. This will take us to the gallery of projects. We'll select our France travel information experience we were just looking at. Now, Experience Builder is built on the powerful JavaScript 4.x API, meaning you can build lightning fast applications with your maps and data. Let me introduce you to the builder. This is where we create and author our experiences. On the left, we see the different widgets that we can bring in, view our pages and applications, check our data sources, and adjust our theme to match our organizational standards. Let's go ahead and add in our second page using a blank canvas, and we'll call it Staff Check-In.
we'll turn on our header and see that the page is already integrated into the rest of the application. We'll drag and drop in a map. And then connect it to a web map. In this case, one of major international airports around Europe. Next, I want to add in a survey. Experience Builder enables us to either create a new survey within the application or select an existing one. In this case, I'll choose this travel report survey and then customize its look and feel to add in some additional details and match the rest of my application. And I want the map to send data to the survey to make it as easy as possible to complete and ensure that the correct airport names are entered. Then, we'll bring a widget to keep track of the number of staff traveling about Europe at any given time. We'll save our application, and it's ready to use. So, let's go ahead and take a look at it on my phone. Applications built with Experience Builder are responsive and mobile friendly. Here's our updated France travel information experience with the same powerful information about safety and security, integrated widgets, and dynamic 2D, 3D maps that we had on the desktop. Let's go back to the top and check out our new staff check-in page. We'll select our airport of origin to push its information into the survey, enter our name, submit, and we're done. ArcGIS Experience Builder is a new application. Coming to ArcGIS Online at the end of this week and ArcGIS Enterprise soon. It enables you to create flexible, dynamic applications to support your evolving workflows and bring together web apps, dashboards, surveys, story maps, and more, all in one unified location. Thank you. Thanks, Kenyon. What a great way to create an engaging destination with a thoughtful user experience.